What is going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about my guilty pleasures with music artists that I listen to. So you got those artists that you like to listen to but they're generally unpopular or it's not really a part of your normal uh, taste in music and probably weird out your friends or something. So I wanted to talk about mine. Uh, I came up with five. It was kind of hard to come up with five, but these are the ones I could think of that are kind of weird, or at least ones that people don't really like or are not liked in the music industry. Usually when you name these ones to your friends, they're like, why do you like that? Why? <laughs> So these are my top five. What are your guys's? Let me know in the comments below. And also I want to do Q and A's. So if you guys have any Q and A questions for me as well, post those in the comments along with your top five guilty pleasure artists. So with that being said, let's get into my top five. So starting off with number one, let's just start off with like the most popular that everyone likes to dish crap on, which is Nickelback. Now, I, <laughs> whenever I tell people that I like Nickelback, it seems like they like Nickelback too. I, mean, I don't know if this is just the people I talk to, but it seems like it's like an internet meme to just hate Nickelback when actually a lot of people actually like Nickelback, which I thought was kind of funny. So it seemed like everyone I kind of said that to, uh, they kind of agreed. But yeah, I do like Nickelback. I listen to them quite a bit, especially the Dark Horse album. That was uh, my favorite. I had that thing on repeat in middle school. I don't know why uh, it was I just really liked it and that al album specifically I listened to a whole lot so that's why that one is on my list the next one this one uh, I didn't expect to put on the list which is uh, marshmallow so I yeah marshmallow why why marshmallow well with the giant meme that is Fortnite, uh, which is uh, I think dying now because of apex marshmallow is one of those that kind of I think in the eyes like of just anyone less, like that looks at marshmallow they're kind of more for um you think more of kids because of fortnite because marshmallow was a big part of the whole fortnite thing so i decided to just go on spotify and listen to marshmallow and it's pretty much the edc you know it's electronic music um i did listen to a lot of that back in middle school stuff like skrillex and um dead mouse so it kind of fell in the same line of that, and it was it's definitely poppy. There was a lot of good songs that I listened to while just while I was working. I just put on Marshmallow, and it's, it, I enjoy it. I do. I don't know why. It's just fun, you know, electronic EDC music. So um, that is why that is on my list. Now this one is uh, kind of different. I don't know if a lot of people kind of know of this band. It's more of the screamo genre, uh, you know, the metal genre. And this is Attila. Now, Attila is, like I said, a screamo uh, metal group, rock group, and I didn't know that this band was generally hated until my friend told me that um, that a lot of people don't like them. <laughs> now, the thing with Attila is they're very, the, the personality, um, they're very cocky, and <laughs> a lot of people do not like that, kind of like the... Um, the singer for um falling in reverse i forgot his name but everyone hates him but kind of like that they're just very cocky and it you can see that in their music but that's kind of actually why i like their music it's just overly obnoxious and cocky and it's just a good time and i think it just kind of fits well with the genre as you know you kind of don't want to be with someone like hang out with someone that is like that in person but for the music and maybe if you're in a good mood and then you listen to you know metal music such as that uh i think it's you know it's kind of entertaining and it's fun to listen to and you know they're a bit memey but it's still it's still fun in that kind of way so that's why they're one of my list uh artists now next we got now that i was kind of scraping the barrel for this one don't get me wrong uh when i was making this list and this is kid rock but i could pretty much put country music in general because i do actually listen to country music uh, i know that is the one that everyone hates but i mean kid rock is kind of like this weird mix of everything in between with country that he does have country music but he also has like rap-ish rock music that you know like your dad rock which i also listen to don't at me now kid rock i listened to just like along with nickelback those two side by side were like the big thing in middle school for some reason um i just like 
it just those two just went hand in hand together which <laughs> was interesting but i enjoyed them and um, again with country music of course you can just th shove everything together as country also like i'd say for country music i'd say it's like the um older genre of country not necessarily the newer stuff you know the more pop country i still enjoy that kind of music still um i guess you can put all that together in a guilty pleasure thing because i still enjoy it even though a ton 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 I ton, i'm sure most of you guys are like why but i do and that's what um you know i listened to a lot of that as a kid along with you know your dad rock your 80s rock you're, you know, all that, you know, all that. So that's why I put Kid Rock on that. I know I just kind of slashed country with that one. So last but not least, I have Bad Baby. Oh yes, the meme herself. The one on the Dr. Phil's. The one that, uh, that you caught outside. Um, now, she's a meme and, or she, she was a meme, and she came out with music, and I gotta say, it's lit. I don't know how to explain this one. I do not listen to the rap R&B genre at all, really. I mean, there's a few exceptions that, I'd say it's one of those genres that's hard for me to like a specific artist, or, you know, a, 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 even a song in. It, it's just not my kind of taste. But some artists kind of seep through that and I really enjoy. And it just so happened that she has, happens to be one of them. Her music is just, it's catchy. It's, um, I like the beat. It's not, you know, re repetitive. And it just sounds overall nice to me. And I know she's a meme, but just her stuff pops up on YouTube all the time. So I decided to listen to a few of them and I liked it. So when I was at work one time, I just played all her stuff on Spotify and I really found like maybe one or two songs, not even that were bad, but like I just didn't like as much as all the other ones. I had to save all of them besides like one or two that were like, eh, but I still like listen to it. I could still listen to it. It just wasn't as good as all her other stuff. So that's why I put her on the list. That's, um, you know, I never thought I'd actually like her music. Never thought to listen to it until it just kind of came up and I just decided to do it. Pretty interesting. So that is my top five. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. I thought this would be a fun video to make. What are your guys' guilty pleasure artists? Let me know in the comments. And again, Q&A questions as well. Make sure you guys check out the merch and the Patreon where you can get videos early, such as this one. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Hope you guys are having a great day. See you next time. Peace.